Hi everyone, I'm Cathy uh, and uh, this is Pintail Paddocks. Um, so I'm coming to you today to tell you what I'm going to be uh, sewing in February. Um, there's a lot that I'm going to be sewing in February. Um, just remembering that I'm in the south of England and a lot of my sewing I will be doing indoors. Um, I'll go through them with you. Um, but um, I'm not going to spend lots of time talking about it um, because it gets a little bit boring, doesn't it? So, and I don't want to bore you. I want to keep it, you know, interesting and entertaining. Um, I'm sorry about the cockerels crowing at the moment. I've got two cockerels and they're both in competition with each other. The spring's coming. Um, so I can't, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I can't do much about that. Um, right, so rather than me looking down at my paper all the time uh, because I've got my flowers on this one here which um, gives me my months and what I'm planting and whether it's been sown transplanted or direct sown um, and then I've got my monthly planner that tells me what to plant the one that I've shown you before um, that shows you the same thing direct transplant um, or direct uh, so sewing in modules um, transplanting or direct sewing um, but so February's as you can see there's quite a lot in my sewing area um, but that only tells you uh, the type that I'm sewing but obviously if you're sewing lettuces you might be sewing quite a few so what I'll do is I'll tell you what I'm going to be sewing and then um, put in underneath um, the different types that I'm sewing as well because you'll never keep up with it all on here so um, so yeah so uh, first of all I am going to be sewing some lettuce um, and so I've got some little gem there and all year round um, I've got some mustard giant red that I'm going to be sewing um, some broccoli and I've got purple sprouting Rudolph and early purple sprouting so I'm going to be uh, popping those in broccoli sun king they should be more or less all together the different types anyway I've got Brussels sprouts uh, that are going in and I've got Eversham special and uh, red ball I haven't tried the red ball before Eversham special is usually very good um, I've got some sweet pepper um, Ingrid to go in there, a little free sachet, so um, those will be going in. Um, be true, I love and the animals love, so there tends to be quite a lot of that. So um, the different types of beetroot are Peonaza de Egito, there you go. Um, then I've got Detroit Rubidus, which is six Rubidus, and Chiogia. So I've got those there to go in. Um, and some more lettuces. Obviously, I didn't keep them all together. But I'm not going to put, you know, I'll just put a few of each and just take out the ones that have come on. Um, these are old seeds, most of these. Some of them I have ordered this time, but I can tell by some of them that they're already opened. So uh, that's Val Valmain, Cut and Come Again. Um, and then I've got Arctic King, which I love. And then I've got um, Winter Marvel, which um, I probably could sew them outside, really. Um, and just to prove that I am trying to keep on top of my New Year resolution for gardening, uh, making sure that I've done my um, little sticks to show where everything is and also what it actually is. Um, I've got Monge 2 Purple and they were saved seeds from last year, so um, hopefully they'll be well acclimatised. Um, basil, I'm not very good at growing basil um just wait and see what that turns out like i don't know i've got some sweet peppers uh to plant i'm allergic to chili um i've got an i get anaphylaxis with chili which i find odd that i can eat peppers because it's still capsicum but it's obviously different i can't breathe in um uh the vapors of chili um when it's heated or eat it 
or anything but i can eat eat peppers it doesn't make any and also um tomatoes anyway i digress uh watercress uh mons too oh there's another beetroot there that one got away that's boltardi i think everybody most people use boltardi then i've got some mint to pop in and some celery i didn't used to like celery when i was younger but as i've got older i tend to like celery um and what i'll do is underneath put down um which types they are that just says cutting seems a bit of an odd uh, type of celery but anyway and also who they're from um so that's those now i've got some flowers to plant as well so um i'm popping in some calendula now that is from uh where i lived before um so how many miles away is that about 20 miles away no mm, 15 probably so that's that so hopefully they'll come on i've got some um marigold sparkly mix so i'm quite excited to see what they turn out like because one of the main aims is to pop um my flowers in around all my vegetables this year or pop my vegetables in around my flowers i'm not sure which way it'll go but it will go one way or the other i've got tajja tea's golden gem uh dahlias as well i'm going to put in um i did leave my dahlias in this year the mulch that i put over them will be enough to have bought them on i found that if i save them over the winter and they dry out and everything that they just they don't come on again i get one or two out of about 10 so i'm just going to go with nature pop it in the ground put a load of mulch on top and hope that they come up again so we'll see this year um i've got dahlias which i've uh, grown before they are cochineal and then i've got another one here which is dwarf dandy so i thought that'd be quite a nice one um i've got some sunflowers and i've got evening sun and i've also got uh russian giant now i know i've sown some over there before we'll have a look at those in a minute um but those i've sown again and some sweet peas for hanging baskets so i'm looking forward to that uh the scent of those will be glorious so i'm looking forward to that so that's everything that I'm going to be sowing. Now, I'm not going to be sowing it all at once. I'm going to be sowing it at different times. Um, on my sheet uh, here, I will often put whether it's early, mid or late. Um, so if you see, if you can see this, I'm not sure whether you can. I hope you can. So that's an M. So that will be mid, an E, early, mid, um, early. So I will be sowing them at different times. Um, I'll start sewing this week and then do the mid ones in about a week's time-ish and then obviously the late ones towards the end of the month. But that's what I'm sewing this month, so I thought you'd be interested with that. Um, I find the other the other uh, YouTube channels and Gardener's World to know what they're sewing really helpful, but I also have to remember that I'm in the south of England and I need to adapt accordingly. And obviously for you, wherever you are in England, but if you're somewhere else in the world, then you're gonna to have to change it completely. Um, but it's also nice to know if you are somewhere else in the world, what other people are growing. And some uh, climates obviously are very similar to our own. Um, I know New Zealand, uh, my auntie's over there. And um, yeah, I know that their climate is similar to ours. So. Um, yeah so i'll leave that at this for the seed sowing and then i'll show you some of the other things that i've got going on see you in a minute so these onions i planted some time ago we've got a bit of haze coming in because of the sun i'm not going to moan about that though um so these here uh, i sold uh, some time ago um and don't tell me the sun's bleached the sticks that'll be the next thing it has um anyway so these were previously sewn ones here i've put some new ones in and as you can see whoops i've got little sorry i've got little stems coming up there so that's red barren and they're all coming up uh, Got some there at the end there as well. Can you see those? Uh, 
and so my others are still growing on there as well. I've got a shop bought parsley which isn't looking very good at all. Uh, I've got a shop bought lavender, lavender? No, rosemary that isn't growing brilliantly so I need to repot those up. Um, I've got some lemon thyme here. These look like they're, they've died, but I'm hoping that they'll come on again. I need to cut them back, really, and see what happens. My lettuces here are all uh, coming along okay. And I've started... Oh, look at that. That's good. These are ones that I planted in a previous video. Um, they're still damp, so they're still okay. Um, I'd sort of given up on them really, but, um, I've left them with plastic on the top. Um, so this one is cauliflower and I've started to get some come up there. This one here is all year round, uh, cauliflower. So that one's coming up better than this one. Uh, I've got leeks in here, nothing yet. Leeks in here, nothing. Nope, nothing. Um, here I've got artichokes, but nothing, and then I've got artichokes here. Well, actually, I think that one's meant to be there. I think I'm going to lay these down because I think that one is artichokes, but they're different types. And then the other ones I put right on the end. So that's Romanesco artichoke there and green globe there um, and then here was leeks so I'll just pop these down because I can always move them if I start seeing them come up and that was leeks as well and that's my all year round so I can pop that one next to there and that one next to there because they just keep on being knocked off so we'll see uh what they're like and then i'll um see if we get any more i've got one two there i've got a few there coming up and then the stronger ones i can um move on um but i've got some green globe there which surprised me i've never grown artichokes before so we'll see how those go i'll just bring some others that i planted out with you uh on previous videos which I also found, thought weren't coming to anything. Uh, but here, this is Red Baron. And I've got one there. I've got one there, one there. So they're starting to come on. And I just broadcast those, those but they're actually coming on. So that's good. This one here is Red dragon and i've got some coming on there i think there's some just i think i was a bit rubbish and didn't um sieve this i think but um yeah there's one there but it just shows that they're coming on these have been covered with a fleece and with some plastic this one here is Russian giant so that is the sunflowers and there you go they are coming on oh there's one down there as well I don't know whether you can see that one there can you trying to pop its head up so they're coming on so I'm quite excited about those but I will not be putting those with other plants because they do take the nutrients i've forgotten what it's called if i remember i'll put it on the screen um from the other plants and this one is um sweet pea but i think that because i haven't kept these in a warmer place there's nothing that i can see coming up on these but you know it's not the end of the world i've got more more available right that's those right i'm sorry if i squint but the sun is setting right where you are where the camera is at the moment not the best place but i couldn't really pop you anywhere else today uh so uh here we are on to the potatoes that i'm going to plant i got 
Right, so I got a bit carried away with ordering my potatoes this year. Um, and uh, there's only my husband and myself. I've got children and grandchildren, which I can give some to. Um, but um, last year, my potatoes were a bit awful. I didn't really get many. Um, and I don't know whether it was because it was such a hot summer and I spread them out a bit so I didn't water them as much this year I'm going to keep them contained in actual fact I'm going to be doing um, a bit of a potato trial so half of my potatoes will be mulched with uh, grass and the other half of the potatoes will be mulched with um, soil um, and within that two um, two tests um, I'm going to have another test which will be one in pots and one uh, on the ground so um, so we'll see how it goes we'll uh, see which ones do better the ones that are mulched by grass or the or earth or the ones and then the ones that um, are either better in the pots or in the ground but we'll see Anyway, I've got Vivaldi here, so there's about 10 in there, I would say, 8 to 10. Um, and I believe that one's Vivaldi as well. So I've got two lots of those. I have got Desiree, so I've got one lot of those. The uh, cockerels are um, cockerelling to call them into bed because the sun's setting, even though it's still very bright. Uh, that's another one of Desiree's. Um, I've got all of these from Simply Seeds. Uh, the other one that I've got um, is from Simply Seeds, but it's Jameson Brothers. Uh, main crop and... Hmm. Tells me all about them. Oh, Valor, there we go, on the other side, Valor, main crop. And there's two kilos there. Um, and I've got another one of those. Well, obviously, I thought I'd order them in twos. Um, and I've got one here, which is Jazzy. Um, these are Scottish basic seed potatoes. Well, even if it's cold, they should be fine, shouldn't they? Not if they freeze, though. Not like poor Tony C. Smith, who's um, absolutely were awful because they'd frozen. Um, there were some other um, people who's froze and were just like, you could sort of wring them out. Um, but other people got away with it. So um, some people were luckier than others. So, yeah, so that's what I'll be um, planting. The Jazzy uh, Basic Seed Potatoes. So that's them. They're quality assured as well. There you go. And the Bala are a main crop. The boiling and baking, it says on there. The Desiree, I think everybody knows the Desiree ones. And they look, I do love Desiree. I've also got the Vivaldi. But I'll tell you what I have got. I've got rooster potatoes in my cupboard that have started chitting. So I think I'm going to put some of those in as well. I thought I may as well just give them a go and see whether they come on. Seems that they've just come from the supermarket. And I've done that before. And sometimes they come on better than the, the other seed potatoes that you get. So, um, yeah, so that's it for those. Um, I've, showed you all, I've showed you all the seeds that um, I've got coming up and I going to be sowing um for february um so i think that's enough for today um i'll uh, come back very soon uh, with another video um so as always um if you're enjoying what you're seeing please like it please give it the thumbs up i know some people aren't as au fait when you say please like it they're like well why do i like it well it's the thumbs up button underneath the screen um and if you're enjoying the content then subscribe uh, obviously it's free uh, and you just um, are helping the channel by promoting it a little bit um, and if you want to be told when there's um, a new uh, video out then press the bell button and that will automatically uh, inform you of that um, and I'm appreciative of whoever watches wherever you are in the world um, and thank you for all of your support um, 
and comments and and help that i've been given recently so thank you very much and i hope that your day is a good day my day is the sun setting at the moment so i've got to go off and feed my animals but wherever you are and whatever you're doing i hope that you have um a lovely evening a lovely day whatever it is for you but bye for now and catch you soon bye